I know you, you've answered this in your mail, but I'm curious as to your thoughts on it. Um, Jerome Ford, um, what do you, you know, what do you think the Browns think of him? They signed Himes, they signed Foreman. Are those necessarily bad things, or is it to supplement Ford, do you think? Yeah, I think it's to supplement. I think Ford's an interesting an interesting case because he played well, right? He's he kind of forced into a tough spot last year. You know, the Chubb gets hurt in week two. All of a sudden, it's, you know, it's Jerome Ford's team. It's Jerome Ford's job to be that number one back. I thought he did pretty well, especially for a guy who didn't carry the ball hardly at all as a rookie. Um, wasn't perfect by any stretch. Um, but I think there were plenty of positives there. So, you know, we don't know how much Chubb's going to play this year, but this could be a pivotal year for Jerome Ford, right? If he starts the year and if he, whatever, if he's plays for four weeks before Chubb comes back or whatever it is, you know, if he winds up having to play much more than that because Chubb doesn't come back, you could learn a lot about Jerome Ford. And I think we'll get a much, a much clearer sense if he is a true number one back in this league or if he's just, a piece of a backfield rotation. Do you think the things that he didn't do well are correctable? I, I, we saw a lot of negative plays. Are, are those are they correctable issues that that can get him to not have? I think it was sixteen percent of his things went for less than two yards. That's a great question, and you know I'm sure the Browns are hoping the change at running back, uh, running back coach helps right going to do Staley. They also have a new run game coordinator that they got from college. Um, and I, I think they hope that those help Ford. Um, like to me, there are two areas of concern with him. One, I keep remembering, especially the second half of last season, where he'd take these, you know, wide handoffs or pitches and just it felt like he kept going wide, wide, and never really cut up. And they led to big losses, like you mentioned. Um, so maybe that's just coaching. Tell him to just put your foot in the ground and go. Pick a seam and go. And I think he can get better at that. Um, you know, I don't know how much of that is vision versus, okay, you just have to have the right mindset. Hey, this play isn't looking like we thought it would. Um, just stick your head in there. Um, and then he's a big enough guy where I think he could be useful in short yardage and on the goal line. But they went to Kareem Hunt mostly in those situations. That's probably why they got Dante Foreman. He's that type of back too. So I think he could probably be better in that area. Um, and I don't know why he hasn't gotten where – you know, they trust him enough. And I don't know if that's something he can get better at or not. 